Hi, my name is Chris Hunter and I'm a private lands biologist with TWRA. I will be working with Mike Hansbro, who is a biologist with USDA NRCS. Today, we will begin with the topic, how to properly calibrate my sprayer for chemical application. What is sprayer calibration? Calibrating your spray equipment means adjusting your sprayer so that the amount of water is determined for a given speed. Why calibrate? Proper calibration of your spraying equipment will save you time, money, and allow you to apply the proper amount of chemical to the site. What types of sprayers should I calibrate? All sprayer types should be calibrated before application of chemical. These include, but are not limited to, boom sprayers, ATV sprayers, boomless nozzle sprayers, and backpack sprayers. What will I need to get started? Today, we will be discussing types of sprayer calibrations to help anyone out there that is planning on doing this type of work. The equipment needed will be determined by the sprayer that you will be calibrating. There are several methods out there for proper boom sprayer calibration, but one of the most accurate and easiest to follow is the 1 and 1 28th method of sprayer calibration, and that's what we are going to use today. More information on this method can be found online. The equipment needed includes two cones or flags, measuring tape or wheel, stopwatch, two or three measuring cups that measure in ounces, a notepad and pen, personal protective equipment according to the label, such as chemical resistant gloves, goggles, and possibly coveralls and boots. You always calibrate with clean water and add the chemical just before you spray. The calibration steps involved with this include remove spray tips, clean screens, and check to be sure all nozzle openings are the same size. Measure the distance between nozzles and mark a straight driving course based on the sprayer calibration chart. Fill tank with clean water to a desired level. Select safe spraying speed and drive through the calibration course and record time in seconds. Write down the RPMs you're using for that speed. Park sprayer, slowly turn on PTO and spray rig and make sure all nozzles are working properly. Set spray pressure to a desired level, normally 30 to 40 PSI as a starting point, and adjust RPMs to match as when driving through the calibration course. Capture water in calibration cups for the same amount of time it would take to drive through the course. Measure in ounces. Repeat one or two more times to get a good average on sprayer output. One nozzle output of water in ounces equals gallons per acre. So 20 ounces of water caught during this time equals 20 gallons per acre. This is the amount of water per acre you will spray. We've determined that our output is 20 ounces of water, which is equal to 20 gallons per acre. We have a 300 gallon spray tank. If you divide that by the 20 gallons per acre, that means that you can spray 15 acres with this 300 gallon spray tank. Once you've determined your actual output the first time on gallons per acre, if you want to increase your gallons per acre or decrease your gallons per acre, you need to increase or decrease your spray tip size, increase or decrease the pressure, or increase or decrease the time or speed within the calibration course. Then run these same calculations to determine your new gallons per acre. Boomless sprayer calibration is similar to boom type. Equipment needed. Four cones or flags, a tape measure or wheel, a stopwatch, a five gallon bucket, a liquid measuring cup that measures in ounces, any recommended personal protection equipment, and someone to help. First, you must determine your spray width. This is usually given in the manufacturer's literature for a specific model, but you can also measure 80% of the measured spray width as a starting point. Using the spray width in step one, determine the calibration distance from boomless spray tables that are available online or from the spray tip manufacturer. To simplify things, we determined that our spray width was 40 feet and a calibration course distance of 85 feet will be needed. Fill the tank with clean water to a desired level. Select a safe spraying speed and drive through the calibration course and record time in seconds. Write down the RPMs you are using for that speed. Park sprayer, slowly turn on boomless, and make sure all nozzles are working properly. Hmm. Set spray pressure to a desired level, normally 25 to 45 PSI as a starting point, and adjust your RPMs to match as when you are driving through the calibration course. Capture water in a five gallon bucket for the same amount of time it will take to drive through the course. Measure in ounces, repeat one to two more times to get a good average on sprayer output. 
boomless output of water in ounces equals gallons per acre. So 30 ounces of water caught during this time equals 30 GPA. This is the amount of water per acre you will spray. Finally, let's discuss calibration of the backpack sprayer. Backpack sprayers are only recommended when spraying small areas, one acre or less, or when no other equipment is available. Again, we will be using the 1 1 28th method of sprayer calibration. Equipment needed, backpack sprayer, four cones or flags, a tape measure, a stopwatch, a bucket, a liquid measuring cup that measures in ounces, and any recommended personal protection equipment. Someone to help will also be good. Set up an 18 and a half feet by 18 and a half feet square as this is approximately 1 1 28th of an acre. Fill your sprayer and begin spraying the square and timing at the same time. Make sure you use consistent speed and that your sprayer has consistent pressure. For this example, it took our sprayer 55 seconds to spray the 18.5 feet square. Now we measure how much our sprayer collects in 55 seconds. Spray directly into a five gallon bucket and then we transfer this water into a measuring cup that measures ounces. Measure how much water you collected over the 55 seconds. Our sprayer collected approximately 40 ounces of water. Simply, this means that the sprayer is calibrated at 40 gallons per acre. Because we're using the 1 1 28th method, we can convert directly from ounces to gallons per acre. Because the backpack sprayer is only four gallons, we divide that number by our gallons per acre to determine the area the sprayer treats when full. Four gallon sprayer divided by 40 gallons per acre, each backpack treats a tenth of an acre. This concludes our training session on sprayer calibration. I hope it was helpful. If you would like more information, please visit our website at www.twraprivatelands.org. And for more information about USDA programs, go to www.nrcs.usda.gov and let us help you help the land.